What's going on guys? All right, we are, it's gonna be a little loud. I do apologize for any kind of weird audio. Uh, we got the kayak tied up top and we are on our way to Lake Coffeen. First KBL tournament of the year. Uh, pretty pumped about it. I did not get to pre-fish, so I'm a little bummed out about that. The good news is, is I've got a game plan. The game plan is pretty simple. Uh, I did get to do quite a bit of homework on this lake um, due to online videos and forums and all sorts of great stuff like that. So I've got an idea of what to do. I'm hoping that it doesn't cost me dramatically uh, for not being able to pre-fish. I just did not have enough time to do so. But, but, we always gotta give it our best. Always, always. All right, guys, I've got another two hours in driving time. Let's get to Lake Coffeen.
Tamarack did really, really well. Um, I can't complain about it. I really can't. Uh, I hung with all these big dogs. Almost everybody in the field had really nice kayaks. What can you say? I mean, with a $200 kayak, I was able to enter a kayak league, compete, and hang, and legitimately hang with people that have fished this lake. I've never fished this lake before. This is my very first kayak tournament. Hell, this is the third time I've been in a kayak. So, really happy about it. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, I ended up with, I believe, 82.25 inches in total, which isn't a lot. Uh, I believe what won it was 86. Seven or 89 uh, and I was only an inch off of third place all I had to do was get one more fish that was a decent size and could have called and I could have could have ended up placing in my very first kayak tournament that would have been crazy uh, not deserving because you got to pay your dues but very happy with a fifth place now Here's the cool thing about this fifth place for me. Yeah, fifth place overall. There were two guys that were from the Orange League, which is a different league than the Green League. I'm in the Green League. So I actually ended up third place in my league, which means I get third place points towards Angler of the Year. So after the very first event, I get third place points for the event. So it's basically like taking third place. I just don't check. Just don't get a check. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, really excited about it in a little $200 lifetime Tamarack kayak. Now, I did get an upgraded paddle. Uh, my biggest gripe about the kayak itself is the paddle. The paddle's not long enough, it's not even close to long enough, um, and it's a cheaply made kayak paddle, uh, which is fine. You know, for a $200 kayak, you can't really complain that much. That's, I mean, it's just wrong to complain that much for a, a paddle that comes with the kayak. Now, what I would say is upgrade the, the paddle right away. Uh, I got a Bending Branches two-piece that is phenomenal. It's uh, 240 centimeters, so you can do the math on whatever that may be length-wise, but I think it was the perfect buy for this kayak. Um, so what did I do today to get myself fifth place and why didn't I do better? Um, missed a few fish. I missed at least, I think, five fish that, uh, and I think three of those fish or two of those fish I could have culled with and I, and I think that was, I think that was it. You gotta fish clean to win tournaments. Bottom line. Now, I started off throwing a jig a chatterbait, a spinner, 
uh, which is kind of one of my little go-to downsize options. And I was kind of freaked out. I hit this one corner thinking I might be able to get a couple fish, didn't. Uh, so we went around the corner and I found this little pocket that had sand, it had a little transition going on from sand to rock, and there was also shade. And the, right when I made that turn, I saw the sun go behind the clouds, and I go, well, Scott Martin always says it, fish the conditions. So I did, which says to me, throw top water. There wasn't a lot of chop, there was actually zero chop on the water. There was shade, everything lined up to throw top water. So I grabbed a Six Sense, uh, I don't know the actual name of the Six Sense bait, but here's the funny thing, I got it in a mystery tackle box. It was in one of my unboxings. So, mystery tackle box, I owe fifth place to you. Uh, I literally caught every single fish in this tournament on a mystery tackle box lure because it's the only one that I threw was that top water popper. Uh, little six cents popper, uh, looked absolutely great. It was silver and blue, uh, had a little uh, white on the, uh, on the back hook, which was killer. And uh, man, that was really fun. Uh, guys, I really, really hope you like this episode. I hope all of my footage worked out correctly. Uh, I know I was having a lot of camera issues. The camera would flip over, it would fall. I've got to work on that. It's plain and simple. I've got to find a way to do better with the kayak camera issue. It is an issue. But you live, you learn. I don't know what kind of footage I got, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do not leave without leaving a thumbs up, a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would have done on Lake Coffeen, and if you know anything about the lake, I would love to hear some more input. Guys, as always, it has been an absolute pleasure, and until next time, guys, happy foozing! You will see this stupid thing? What is this? This is his muffler. What is that? What is that? Why? Why would you do that?